Hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? For those of y'all who've been here before, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. And for those of y'all who have no idea who I am, allow me to introduce myself for what is I say it's me, Cisco Soldier, aka Uncle Trey. Welcome to the channel. So if you've been here recently, all right, a couple weeks ago, I made a video about CompTIA's online remote testing. I actually took an exam yesterday and I'm gonna tell you guys all about it. First thing I'm gonna do is talk about what actually happened. And then secondly, I'm gonna follow up with things that I talked about in the video that I made prior and what actually happened on exam day. Let's talk about the total testing experience. How was my testing experience? Ultimately, it was good because I passed, but there was a lot of th there was a couple of things that went wrong in the process, and I'm gonna talk to you about them right now. All right, so the first thing I did was log in. You know, I went on registered for the exam probably four or five days ago. Then you know they sent me a confirmation email and said, "Hey, on the day of the exam, log back into the website." Log back into the website, right? Then I had to download some software, and then it brought me into a template where now it was I had to upload my information to get ready to take the exam. Once I logged into the software, I had to test my camera and I had to test my microphone, right? I had to show my ID card, I had to take a picture of my ID card, the front and back. I had to pull out my cell phone and take pictures of all four corners of the testing environment. So the front, back, left side, and then the right side. So this was actually the first problem that I had, right? For some reason, like the Pearson View software did not pick up my webcam for some reason. Like I plugged it in numerous times, it just would not connect to the webcam. So after about 15 minutes of troubleshooting on the phone, I kind of got the sense that, hey, this thing is not gonna work out. So I kind of sprung into action. I was on my Windows laptop, but it, you know everything wasn't working out. So I switched to my uh, Mac Mini, the desktop the computer that I have up here. And luckily, once I hooked the webcam up over there, everything started working normally. You know, everything started working fine. It was kind of weird to me because I've taken multiple online ex uh, proctored exams from different companies like Exam Shield, like Examity, just different companies over the last couple months and everything worked fine on my laptop, but you know, with the Pearson View software, it didn't. So going through this whole process, right, like I was extremely nervous because I'm like, man, I'm already nervous because I got to take the test. Now I got to do all this extra stuff, troubleshooting, software's not working. You know, a, a lot of anxiety was building up. But at the end of the day, you know, got through it to the point where, you know, I was able to actually take my exam. The only thing that I would say about the exam that I took, I actually took an exam. Um, it's a CLO-002, which is the CompTIA's Cloud Essentials exam. And... Uh, I think on, it was advertised that they give you like 75 minutes, but when I actually clicked on the test and did it, I only got 60 minutes. So that that's another thing that added to my anxiety, right? I'm like, oh, you can't be serious, like, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, got through everything and actually passed the exam, okay? So now just to follow up on a couple things that uh, I talked about in the last video that actually happened. Number one, webcam, right? So because the embedded webcam that I had in my laptop did not work, I was forced to use a webcam. I remember we talked about webcams. Had my embedded lap, uh, camera work, I probably would have not needed one because of the simple fact that they didn't make you do the whole 360 and wave your camera around the room. They just said, hey, take a picture from your cell phone, upload it, and then that will suffice as us having a clear view of your testing area. But for me in my case, because I had to switch to my Mac mini desktop computer that doesn't have a camera interface, having a webcam actually saved the day for me. I talked about having your testing area clean. Like I said, man, I was already nervous. So I didn't need to compound the situation by trying to move stuff around and get everything out. Um, and I definitely, prior to, like I went to everybody in my family. Like I got four people in the house besides me. I went to everyone, looked everybody in the eyes, the blinking eyes, and was like, yo, please do not disturb me for the next 90 minutes or so. And I made sure that I got a straight up north and south, like, yeah, okay, we understand you. We understand the words that are coming out of your mouth, the communication that's being set forth. And, you know, I made sure, like, hey, please do not mess with me, right? Uh, <laughs> and uh, I, I applaud them for actually not messing with me. So I appreciate that. Now, had I not been able to take the test, right, like had I not switched over the webcam and, you know, logged in and got everything set up, would I have been able to keep that same voucher? And, you know, I believe so. I didn't actually get to that point. I've seen a couple blog posts where people say, like, yes, they will honor your voucher. If you have a technical issue on your end or their end, that yes, they will honor your voucher as long as you do not attempt to take the test. All right. That has been verified by multiple people in multiple posts. So, like I say, overall, it was a good 
good experience, you know, glad that I did not have to go to a testing center. It, you know, I'm pretty sure like it's only been, they've only been doing this for two weeks, right? So I don't believe it's a fair comparison to compare them to all these different agencies out there that have been doing this for years. You know, they got all the bugs worked out. They know everything that's going on. Uh, so I believe we give them a little bit more time. But like, as for me, you know, I'm, 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 I'm glad that I was able to do it at the house and move on. You know, I took this class as part of my degree program so now I can actually move on and I don't have to stay stagnant so it was highly convenient for me uh, in that case all right so I just want to share that with you guys real quick you know I feel like I owe you a follow-up I have a lot of people hitting me up in the comment section like hey you know what what should I do what should I do so because I actually took the exam you know I, I felt like I wanted to just give you a follow-up on my personal experience okay so hey I appreciate you guys hanging out with me um, if you have any other experience that you want to share down in the comment section below, please let everybody know about it. All right. And uh, let's keep on getting this thing, man. Don't let the, you know, uh, COVID-19, you know, we're all stuck in the house. Everyone's depressed. You know, everyone's feeling bad, but, you know, we all got to snap out of it. Right. So, you know, we got to keep on moving because if in the event that everything does go back to normal or even 90 to 95 percent of a normal you don't want to have this time wasted right now right so you want to make sure that we keep on pressing keep on pushing and uh knocking out and achieving our goals all right easier said than done i know but uh we'll get it <laughs> Right. Hey guys, if you would like to support the channel, I appreciate it if you like, comment, and subscribe. Plus hit that notification bell to see all further uploads from Cisco Soldier, aka Uncle Trey.